Hello everyone. Welcome to English Grammar Classes. Today we are going to discuss if conditional clause. There are four kinds of if conditionals. Zero conditional. It explains uh, about the actions or facts which usually happen. First conditional. It explains about the action which is practically possible to complete. Second conditional explains about the action which is practically doubtful. And the third conditional explains about the action which is not possible to complete as it's too late to take the action. Now let us look into some of the examples. Zero conditional explains about the actions which usually happen. They are facts. Zero conditional in if clause we use present simple and in the main class also we use present simple like throw, false, try, succeed, eat, leave. These are present simples. If I throw, it falls. Usually happening fact. If you try, you will succeed. That is the universal truth. If we eat, we live. That's a very correct. The first conditional. In the if clause, we use present simple. And in the main clause, we, we use will and infinitive. This conditional, that is the first conditional, explains about the action which is possible to happen. For example, here, if I throw, it will fall. You are believing that if you throw, it will fall means it is sure to happen in future. So, if clause uses present simple, here, throw, try, eat, present simples. Main clause uses will, will and infinitive. Will fall, will succeed, will live. That's what will and infinity. So, if I throw, it will fall. That is your belief that if you throw, it is sure to fall. If you try, you will succeed. This is what the suggestions we get from everyone. And if you try, definitely you will succeed. That's a belief. And if we eat, we will live. That's true. Second conditional. This is, this explains about the action which is doubtful to happen. All right. So if clause uses simple past, main clause uses would and infinitive. Now you know what are infinitives. That is uh, present simple. So you can take them as infinitives like fall, succeed, live. All right. And in the if clause, we use past simple like take, took, taken. So took is past simple. See, saw, seen. Saw is past simple. Like eat, ate, eaten. So ate is past simple. So if I threw, it would fall. If you tried, you would succeed. If we ate, we would live. Third clause explains about the action uh, which is not possible to happen as it is too late. In this, if clause uses past perfect and main clause uses would, have and past participle. You know past participles. Take to taken. Taken is past participle. See, saw, seen. Seen is past participle. That is the third verb. Now, past perfect means had gone, had seen, had taken, had thrown. These are past participles. Means with had, you use third verb. That is past participle. So, if I had thrown, it would have fallen. If you had tried, you would have succeeded. If we had eaten, we would have lived. Now, these are the actions uh, you... Uh, hadn't taken in the past, now you are regretting at present, saying that uh, we would have done that. So, this is third conditional. All right. These are some of the examples I have given you. 
zero conditional. If she cooks, I eat. This is usually happening thing. If she cooks, I will eat. This is your belief that uh, the action is going to happen in future. That is sure. If she cooked, I would eat. This action is doubtful. If she had cooked, I would have eaten. Now, it is not possible to happen as it is too late. Look into another example here. If you practice, you win. That is the universal truth and uh, usually happens. If you practice, you will win. It is a suggestion that is a sure action to happen in future. And if you practiced, you would win. It's a doubtful action. And if you had practiced, you would have won. Now, it is not possible to happen as it is too late. I hope this video helped you in understanding if conditional.